Okay, so we want to graph these two um, functions and find when they meet. That's the idea of this question. So we have, first of all, x plus y equals 7. That's a linear equation. Subtract x from both sides and you get y equals 7 minus x. This means, of course, 7 is your y-intercept. This is in mx plus b format. So b equals 7 and the slope equals negative 1. So now we can find when this line meets the quadratic quickly, algebraically. I know they want it graphically, but I like to support it with the algebra here. So at some point then, um, 7 minus x is going to equal the quadratic, minus x squared plus 6x minus 3. And here we're going to add x on the right side and subtract 7 from both sides. So then 0, right, this all cancels out, equals negative x squared plus 7x minus 10. So here um, we have minus 10, factors of negative 10 that add to 7. What could they be? Well, um, we, we can't get that straight away because, right, because there's no factors of negative 10 that add up to positive 7. So here, right, where these two things cross, um, at first you might be a little bit lost, but then maybe we realize that um, because it's negative x squared, we can invert everything. So multiply everything by negative 1. We get 0 equals x squared minus 7x plus 10. So now the task is a little bit different. We're trying to find factors of positive 10 that add a negative 7, and that we can do because the factors of, of 10 um, could be minus 2 and minus 5. Multiply those two, we get positive 10, but if we add them, we get negative 7. What does this mean? Well, this means the two functions meet at these two points. So here we can just find the points by finishing this. Let me clear this off. Clear this off here. So then x minus 2 could equal 0. If we add 2 to both sides, x equals 2. And the, we know they meet at a point where x equals 2. If we plug in 2 to our linear equation, the 7 minus minus x, it's just 7 minus 2 and y equals 5. So they meet at the point 2, 5. And then here, x minus 5 equals 0. Add 5 to both sides, okay. x equals 5. Well then 7 minus 5 is 2. So x, sorry, when x equals 2, y equals um, when x equals 5, y equals 2. Right? They're reverses of each other, 5, 2. So this helps us because now we can graph. Let's go back, our line, 7 minus x. We're at 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's a y-intercept. Minus x is a slope of negative 1. The line's just decreasing like this. So here, right, we just line this up. That's our linear equation. That y equals 7 minus x. And we know that it meets the quadratic at these two points. So we just need three points to kind of estimate the quadratic. So let's graph that. Um, here, sorry, so here we have 2, 5, and that is on the line as well as it should be. And 5, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2. Here, these two points, 2, 5, and 5, 2, are on the quadratic. All we need to find next is the vertex. And that's easy to do once you realize that negative b over 2a is always the axis of symmetry. So b is 6, so negative b is negative 6 over 2 times negative 1, 2 times a, right? a is this negative 1 value. You get negative 6 over negative 2, so that means that's 3. So the line x equals 3, right? 1, 2, 3, here, is um, the axis of symmetry. Although something seems off there. Let me go back a second. The axis of symmetry has to be about halfway between these two points here. Um, so here, if I'm at 2, 5, and, and, and 5, 2, um, the halfway point should be what? It should be 2 and a half, right? Not 3. Something's a little bit off. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. These are not the roots of the equation. Um, so here, if we draw this line 3, let me explain. Here, this is the line x equals 3. This is the axis of symmetry. It doesn't seem symmetric here, right? But I was thinking the, the axis of symmetry has to be halfway between your roots, not between every point on the graph, right? Uh, only between points of corresponding height, which we don't even have here. So let me, let me just find the vertex, and then I think you'll understand. So if x equals 3 and it crosses the vertex somewhere, plug 3 in, 
negative 3 squared plus 18, 6 times 3, minus 3, and we'll find the vertex. Be careful here with negative x squared. We square x and then apply the negative sign. So it's 3 squared or 9, and then negative 9 because of the way it's written. It wouldn't be positive unless the negative x was in parentheses. Plus 18, minus 3. Negative 9 plus 18, what's that? Well, that's 9. Minus 3 equals 6. So the point 3, 6, 1, 2, 3, and then here, 6, is your vertex. It's right here. All right. All this work allows us to kind of graph the parabola here. And I'm just going to say when x is 0, I'm going to use that reference point, we're at negative 3. If you plug in 0 here, you would see that. So this point's going to be there as well. So as a guide, use 0 as a guide. It's going to help you. Here you can see that that's not the worst, not the best drawing, but here this quadratic now um, is graphed. y equals negative x squared plus 6x minus 3. And we have the two points of intersection here and here. You would label those. And we've graphed it. And as a recap, the first thing we did was took our line, graphed it in mx plus b format, set the two things equal to each other, and that allows us to find the x values when the points meet. When x equals 2 and y equals 5, we plug those into our lines and got the y values that gave us the points where these things meet. And then we found the axis of symmetry for the quadratic plugged in that value, x equals 3, to get the vertex, and then graphed. I used, as well, this point. When x is 0, I plug that into the quadratic um, and got the y value of negative 3. When x is 0, you can just automatically kind of get a snapshot that this number is where the y-intercept is. So, so here we've got this intersection, and you can do it on the graphing calculator. Uh, here I have it set up in the y equals mode, plugged everything in, hit graph, and you'll see that it works. But if you want to find the intersections here, you'd hit second, trace, and then intersect. Then you want to just toggle between the curves, first curve, and they consider a line a curve, right? And then, right here, oops. Sometimes it's a little hard, difficult to, to toggle between the two, but there, uh, there's one intersection, two, five, and then you can kind of toggle over to the right and press enter, and it will um, get the other intersection as well.